Hello, I'm David Hoffman, filmmaker, and you're about to see a clip of Doc Watson, the great flat picking guitarist, and Earl Scruggs, the great three finger style banjo picker. Just a bit of background will help you really appreciate how extraordinary this moment is. So Doc, he's blind from I think a year old. He was already one of the great flat picking guitarists. I absolutely loved his music when I was a kid growing up on Long Island, listening to this uh, bluegrass mountain stuff. Earl, Earl Scruggs, the great Earl Scruggs. Bill Monroe's banjo picker, Flatten Scruggs, the Beverly Hillbillies music, Deliverance music. I mean, he was a great classic and these two guys loved each other. Doc got sick once and Earl took his private plane, which he flew, flew down and picked up Doc so that Doc could come home and be with his people. There was a respect, a kind of a North Carolina Appalachian Mountain roots decency between these two men. And they're getting together in the scene you're about to see, which is completely unrehearsed, at Doc's home in Deep Gap, North Carolina. Set up a single microphone, I'm a single camera, so whatever you see is what I got. No two takes, no two cameras, just a moment of friendliness and kindness between beautiful people. Take a look and then I'll tell you what happened after when it's over. Well, we're at the home of Doc Watson's and his family, which I'm very happy to be here. This is Doc and his son Merle to my right and my son Randy and Stevie behind me. And we're going to attempt to uh, just play a few tunes that, uh, well, it's completely unrehearsed, so... Uh, being unrehearsed, it'll come out kind of like it would uh, if we were just having a natural get-together. We'll that just makes make that, what it is. We'll yes, just sir. make that out of it <laughs> and not worry about that. <clears throat> Usually it'll sound better if you don't rehearse it. <laughs> <clears throat> let's do, let's do old John Hardy there. Old see John Hardy? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. 
<laughs> so much for that. You might be asking, how did David Hoffman get to make this movie? Well, I had this idea, me and my partner at the time, that Earl Scruggs was really important. Give him a call, cold. Earl says, you know, I'm at a time in my life where I'm searching new kinds of music. He didn't like being in a camera very much. He was shy, very shy. But he let us come down and we get to know each other. I loved his family and I'm on the road with them. I loved that relationship between Doc and Earl, that respect for hard times, for the Depression era, for Appalachia, for North Carolina, and this love of this music that they grew up with, that their families taught them, and that they continued on, that had nothing to do with success or money or power and everything to do with beautiful music well played. If you weren't a good player, both Earl and Doc treated you the same. I mean, Stevie's just starting out. So in a way, this is a memory of a wonderful moment that's kind of got sad after. I mean, Merle, Doc's son, I think a tractor rolled over on him right at their farm and killed him. Stevie, Earl's son, committed suicide. Randy Scruggs is dead. Earl is dead, of course, and Doc is dead. But this moment, I'm so happy that I captured this moment. It blew me away when it was recorded. It still does today. There's a, as you can see, an ease and a love and an appreciation for each other and for the music that I find just incredible. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to see more clips from this movie, go to Earl Scruggs, search Earl Scruggs on my YouTube channel, and you'll find lots of clips from this 90-minute special called Earl Scruggs, his family and friends. Thank you very much for watching.